big and flying don't exactly agree with gnomes. <laughs> Do we see what she's pointing out? I also would like to scope out what she's pointing out. <laughs> Let me say one thing here. The dice roller, Scott, is ah. in the left-hand menu and is the little dice. If you mouse over that, it'll give you some dice rolling options. And you'll see different size dices and different numbers of dice that you can roll. So if you go to 46 there and punch that six times, you'll get your rolls. Or you can use the uh, macro that Aaron put in in uh, Discord. And if you copy that and paste that into chat, that'll roll you four dice six. Mm -hmm. Six times with the three highest dice being counted. Okay, so when she points it out, I mean, all of you can see it. Um, How the hell did I miss that? Did I miss that? <laughs> oh, my God. You were God. looking down the road, you were watching where your horse was going. I don't know. I mean, it's just, it's, uh, <laughs> someone had to see it first, and she did. Okay. And so... Um, Let's get the hell off the road. I said it's it's it is a good distance off. It's not like when I say it's a good distance off. I mean you can just barely make it out. And is it coming our so direction? So far or... off that you can tell it's really big. It's not like oh that's a big strange green bird the size of a hawk. That's a drag. You're like, no, that's way <laughs> further out than a hawk-sized creature would be and still looks a, as big as a hawk about the edge of what your vision of seeing a hawk would be. Well, we need to get up the hell off the road because the anything that can fly has better vision than we do. <laughs> is, it, is it coming our direction or is it going sideways it's, from us? It, or I mean, whatever? it's really hard at this point to tell what direction it's going. I mean... Kind of what caught your attention was it 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 banked up and uh so it's it was turning at that point and you're not even sure whether it was turning towards you or away from you. It was just that when it went up to to bank to make the turn, the wing, the high wing was catching the sun rays from the east and kind of illuminated it so you got this sudden big green dot out there in the far distance how oh, is our like tree cover where we are or is it our grassland it's a it's 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 a, me, a mix there's trees and there's clearings and there's bushes and there's little hills it's just a kind of a, a messy Brambly, uh, we should probably head towards some tree cover so that we could be less conspicuous to something. No flying. kidding, I've already I, I would, I would tend to agree because if this is a dragon, I don't think we'd be able to face it. No, uh, I didn't bring my wall horse and lance, so, um, yeah, yeah I didn't bring my uh, my 20th level. A squire or a sword <laughs> arm, either. <laughs> so I got off the road already. You guys getting off the road? <laughs> I definitely yeah. get off the road, yeah. Well, I don't even... Are we on the map, or... Oh, there we are. I gotta find us. Best dragon fight I've ever seen in D and D was a paladin on uh, the back of a white buffalo with a heavy lance, and he one shotted the dragon because it was a critical hit. Charged it down after it landed. What so, a was that? Second. Where's Where's the road and where's tree cover and all that? It's not on there. I'm a theater of the mind kind of guy. I just, I yeah. told him, I got the hell out the road. <laughs> so, in other words, I'm hiding in some trees. 
Right, even if we speak about it. Yeah. Me too. I'm Me going too. to put my back against a tree trunk and lean against it and uh, kind of look up at the sky and wait for the... I'm assuming it's a dragon. Uh, wait for it to fly over or buy. Whatever it is, it's big as hell. If it's not a dragon, it's too damn big. It could be a wyvern. Yeah. Who knows? If it's green, there's not many things it, it could be. <laughs> Agreed. Okay. So, um, guys, sort of, uh, get under some trees and you're standing and watching, waiting. 15 minutes go by. Can we still see it? Yeah, it's still out there about where it was. I mean, it's it moves just hovering moves on. left, right, across your vision. Um... If you go out where you can observe it, and uh, it seems to be, is it working s- more to the wet to the east? Does it spew ancient orange? Or a straight like- line north, <laughs> then you into the then to the west of it. Does it appear to be hovering over a specific area? Or is it? It's really thinking? hard. I mean, you like I said, you know, it's one of these things you just, at this mm-hmm. point, just was kind of squinting and 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 really working at it. You can kind of make it out. Ah. We may need to plot, plot an alternate course. Like, if, if, if we were going <laughs> what direction? Uh, west? We may need to go a little bit south. <laughs> then west of the forest. Then north. Then north. We were going north? Okay, so we were going north. And that thing's north. We may need to go let's see, to the to the west somewhat. And then come like northwest to go around it. We might get lost yeah. though. But I don't want to get eaten. Neither do I. <laughs> I don't have evisceration insurance. Okay, so this yellow line is the trail that you guys have been working on, working, traveling on. That's how you travel down here, and it's you're going back the same way. And so you guys are like here, and you're seeing the dragon somewhere like here and the place we're going we're taking this uh this um usurper or no right there oh oh well, we could maybe go off to the east a little bit, and unless the dragon is hovering over the place we're headed, well, we I said, the there. dragon needs to be might working more to the east, a line straight north from you. Uh huh. So we need to go to the west. <laughs> go to the west, yeah. Okay, never mind. And the and the the. Uh... The city we're going to, is it still five or six days out? Uh, I yeah. It was three, I thought it was three or four. No. It took you guys eight days to get down here, and you're one day into it. So, yeah. Uh, did we turn in the um, the bandit leader yet? No. no. That's, That's what we're trying we're to headed. do. We're headed to... You're two days in, I'd say. Okay. Yeah. I wasn't so here last week, got, so 
Yeah. Is he still um, over my saddle and I'm still knocking him out every, like, ten minutes? <laughs> I don't think anybody knocked him out last week. No, we didn't. We threatened to kill him if, 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 if it came to it, though. It's like, if I die, you die. Hmm. <laughs> oh, my dinner is beeping. So... Well, if the dragon's hovering over Ludensheim and not attacking, what if it's guarding Ludensheim? Uh... I don't think it is. I think it's to the east of Ludensheim. Is that right? <coughs> hmm. um, you would think maybe... You don't quite think you're seeing all the way to Ludensheim either. Uh, okay. Yeah, let's go uh, a little bit west around. Really seeing it probably, you would probably feel that it is somewhere between you and Ludensheim. What we need to do is stay to the west of the road in tree line. Yeah. And 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 because we lose sight of the road, we could easily get lost. Like cut over so we, this we, way, we can... like this, and then go to Ludensheim. Yeah, like parallel to the road, but not where we can be obviously seen. Not to say the dragon still won't see us, but I'm thinking if we go deep into the woods, we could really lose our way. I wonder what the hell that thing is doing. It's going around in circles. It must have found some kind of prey. Or it could be guarding whatever it's circling. Oh. You see it, head for it, ask it. Green uh, dragons are not kind you can talk to very well. I wouldn't know what kind you could talk to very well, but I don't feel like talking to a dragon right now. <laughs> green dragons are what, like poison or something? Gas, yes. yeah, po poison gas. I wouldn't know. I don't. I don't know anything about dragons. Never seen one. Don't know. Don't know. I know. Uh, I don't want to get eaten by one. How about yeah. that? <laughs> Never seen one until now. Wouldn't want to meet one. Okay. So, you guys want to proceed? Then you said you're going to not go down the road. You're going to... Move out into the woods, yeah, short distance yeah, from the yeah, road, so you can kind of check yeah. into the road. Yeah, so we can still in, see in it, but be in the tree line because uh, I don't want I don't want him to get hungry. And yeah. see me as a hors d'oeuvre. Oh yeah, the tree line. Yeah, so um, more like uh, like this. Uh, yeah. Like that. That's the tree line, right? Move me with the party. I'm in the kitchen right now. I, I'm trying to... I'll stay with where everybody uh, else is. Because I'm trying to finish my dinner up here. Just beeped. Okay. Actually, that doesn't look like the tree line to me. This looks like the tree line to me. Does that look about right, Aaron? Well, you know, so, uh, you may roll. You need to roll again because you did not get two fifteens. Oh yeah. Wait, that's a wonky way to roll. How use the die roller. Yeah. I, I, How come I you don't just use? How come he didn't use he's, your? He, he's new. He's oh. he's new to all twenty. Probably didn't want to do it. That one. Uh, yeah, let me. Oh wait. Okay. Uh, oh yeah, I'm not. I'm not a co GM in this one. Okay, so um, now are you guys 
he's proposed, uh, well, I got drawn on the map, uh, total reroute heading. Yeah, yeah, that's not what I'm proposing to do. I'm proposing uh. to, to go into the tree line to the, to, the, to the left of the road, to the west of the road, basically, but not so deep that we lose sight of the road. If, if we can, if we can travel parallel to the road, but stay within the tree line, because my fear is if, if we take a whole different uh, route like that, we may not, we may miss miss when when the turn. So what I, all I'm saying is, let's stay out of sight uh. of of uh, some, some, you know staying in the trees, but not go miles away or half a mile away even uh, from the road that, that so that we'll know it was still going the right way. Well, the trees. It looks like the tree line is like like this. Don't to don't me. pay attention to the map. That's where the forest is. That's not where the tree line is. Uh, this, the, this map is is big. I mean, you're from you're what? You're about sixty miles away from Ludensheim. Mm hmm. So that just indicates where heavy forestation is considered to be at. Which dot are we? The southern one or the north? Are we? Are we N this one? Neither one of them. Oh, We're about here. Okay, like that, right? Yeah, that's much better. That's a badass roll. Got 18. Ooh, nice. 16 and 15. Yeah. And you've got a, a low one for good RP. You got, so you can make a dump stat. Okay. That slot looks much better. Man, that's a good roll. <clears throat> yeah, that's a good set of roll. You could make a badass character with that. You could dual class with that as a human. Dual class. Dual class. Dual class. <laughs> okay, so... The the progress I, or is that what you is that what you're doing? You're just gonna short distance off and parallel the road. Yeah, that's what I would prefer to do rather than try to uh, strike a new blaze a new trail. Just stay in, you know, undercover, unwrapped, yeah. incognito, whatever, yep. whatever you want to call it. Rather than travel on the road, travel inside the forest next to the road, right? Right. Okay. So, obviously, That'll progress slows down. Slows down. Oh, oh, yeah, I was just going to say that. <laughs> as, you, as you move off of the trail and into the forest, you're now, you know, moving... You know, like two thirds your your previous speed. Um, so over the course of the day, as you come out to do your checks, you do see the dragon. You, you you can see enough now to see that you're pretty sure it is a dragon. Got a little closer, but not tremendously closer to you. Um, so, uh, about 
mid afternoon. You guys, um, one of you is going to spot further off in the woods. A little stone building. Uh, it doesn't look very large. It looks to be maybe eight feet tall. And um, you can kind of see it from one side and it, it looks to be Oh, maybe maybe fifteen feet long, fifteen feet wide. Where you're looking at it, Okay. Okay. Do we want to bother that? Do we want to risk it, risk it I guess? I Might know. make a good shelter if it's not occupied tonight. What, ta what time of day is it now? I said it's mid-afternoon. So yeah, I'm not going to lose that kind of time waiting here. Oh yeah, yeah that's true. Well, but It may be better avoided. Yeah, mm -hmm. I'd rather avoid it and not light fires at night and stuff like that so that we can, um, you know, avoid attracting the attention of the dragon if it's flying overhead or something. We're kind okay. of on a mission, very time-sensitive mission. Well, that's another thing. I mean, there's a good chance that his people or the goblins are going to try to reobtain him. That's that's what happened last session. We got attacked by goblins. Yeah. Yeah, that's why we've got to stay ahead of them and travel as quickly as possible to Ludensheim. Okay. Maybe the dragon will eat some goblins. Okay, so you guys take it the evening and you're and you're basically know that you you know not get a full day's worth of of, of mileage in. Uh, when we when we check the road every now and then, can we still see that dragon? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, then it's not getting much closer. You can kind of see it a little better, but that's about it. Mm. <clears throat> Excuse me. Pardon me. We're not, um, like, heading straight towards it as we follow the road, are we? Well, you're heading towards the area it appears to be flying over, at least to the east of it. It appears, like, on a straight line, that would kind of be to the north. That would kind of be the western boundary of the area it seems to be flying over.
Okay, so let's go. Set up for the night. Watches. Go ahead and. I like, I like second watch. I'll take third. Then that leaves me with first watch. Or do any of the spellcasters need to memorize spells tonight? Mm -mm. I mean, um, I in, in the morning, that is. Okay. No, I haven't cast any today. Okay. Is the green limit uh, inside the tree line, or is that a contour? Or the what? Are the green blobs uh, trees? Yep. Ah, okay. So we're inside the tree line. Yes. Where's the road? Oh, it's over here somewhere. It's up, you know. Are we? That's the tree line. I guess we're in the tree line. Ah, uh, okay. So the road goes like this, that way. Well, I mean, or or you can. I, that's where I normally think of it because I just think of it in terms of the no road would be like way over here, like you know, way to the way to the to the to the to the west of you because you're traveling on the east side of the road. Ah, okay. So I we thought would... we were traveling on the west side because we wanted to avoid the east. Yeah. Hey, you're traveling on the. It's to the east of you. Excuse me. Yeah. So you're traveling on the west side of it. Point oh. in the right direction. Okay. Okay. So uh, whoops. Uh, then the road is. Like this? No. You guys aren't anywhere near the road. I mean, you're not like miles away from it, but it's like, you know, 100 yards over to the east from where this area is. Oh. You can camp on the road if you want to. Uh, no. It's not really a road, it's a trail. And literally, it is a trail. So, if it's 100 yards, then that would put it right about here, like that. We're not having a fire nope. tonight. Nope. Heavens no. No need anyways, it's nice and warm. Cold rations. Don't need a bright time. So here we are. Here we are.
rolling for hit points. I'm not sure. I guess roll per the book. You get max hit points at first level. You must be playing the mage with rolling two d four for hit points. I mean for cash. Oh. Well, you need to sign on your class for your roll for cash. Is it, it differs by by class? Yeah. Okay, so who's taking first watch? Me. Calathon. Okay, so whoever's in first watch, give me a, uh, a better point where your horses are at, too. Go ahead and give me a d20 roll. Okay. Uh oh. Oh. You don't really hear that much. Just kind of normal animal noises, nighttime noises. And that's the end of, and, and your watch passes without any anything happening, per se. Uh, and so watch number two. That would be Willa. Okay. A D20? Yep, a D20. Okay. So, Willa, you are sitting there watching and and you you have um you know some some fairly active animal movement in the woods where you're at I also can hear some from the nearest clump over there but it's all sounds pretty normal nothing alarming and okay. your watch comes to an end. Okay, I'll wake up the next person. Okay. Aaron, give me a d20 roll. Okay. Aaron, about halfway through your watch, really bit animal noises. You think you hear kind of a squeak? Off in the distance to the uh, uh, east of you, a couple of times, but you can't really make anything out. And then about 
half an hour or so after you think you heard that, you do hear a sort of a whoosh and a thud coming from that direction. And your eyes travel that direction and you see a ball of flame. Oh, God. Flying across the open space between these two clumps of trees towards your general area. Okay. Um, you're going to get one action round because your your perception roll was so good. All right. I'm going to try to wake everybody up. I'm going to... Who's that? That's uh, Haddock. Is Rich still hey, here? Richard, Rich, are you here? still showing. Yeah, yeah, yeah right? but I'm, I'm gonna... sleeping. Yeah, I'm going to wake him up then. Uh, I'm going to kick him or hit him. Oh. And I'm going to try to wake everybody else by voice. We're under attack. Something, something playing. Okay. So, hey, that, you are definitely woken up. All right. And, uh, and so... You may proceed to get your stuff together, so you'll be ready to go next round. All right, I started grabbing my stuff. Okay, and um, the other two of you, uh, Willa and uh, and Sir Galathon, each of you give me a D twenty roll. Okay. Galathon sleeping like a log. Uh, oh, not as, not as much as like, like a rock. You are definitely a heavy sleeper. Yeah, yep. That's <laughs> from okay, previous experience. And it is now <laughs> initiative. You all rich. Okay, so what happens is that ball of flame it's about right there right oh now it's hits on the top of the trees and you do oh. hear some crashing of limbs and you look up and you also probably felt a few hot sparks come, come sizzling at you and you realize that they've thrown something in flammable into the top of the uh, trees. So that flame is starting to, to spread and crackle. And where like five arrows come flying from these trees, or bolts come flying from these trees towards you guys, and hitting in the edge of the trees. And you're yelling and all that good kind of stuff. Um, Am I harder to hit because I'm prone and I'm small? Yeah, you are actually. So, I, I need, uh, Aaron and Hedek, what are you going to do this round? Just tell me, and then we can put it into action. I'm going to 
look around to see what I can see to assess the situation. I mean, other than the ball of fire landing in, bolts flying in. I mean, can I see where the bolts come from? Can I see? That's what I said. They're coming from this group of trees over here. I mean, can I see what's shooting them? Like, is it the goblins again? No. Or... no. It's something beyond the tree line. Where are our horses there, GM? Well, told you guys to put them on here somewhere. Didn't, so I can't will. Drag the, I can't drag the horses. I don't have a horse. You never gave me one. We got like four well, donkeys. We got like well, five we haven't horses. Had, we haven't been putting individual counters on because there's so many of them. We yeah, just we got, have been drawing a line. Where they we are. got enough of spares now, man. Um, I'm going to wake these two up. I'm going to kick him next. I'm going to move move over there by them and say, Kenny, get the hell up. Get on the horses. Let's get the hell out of here. We're under attack. And is the flame, is the is the trees, trees for, uh, on a flame now? Is there a flame? I said the flames are starting to spread. This is still the same turn. No, well, it's just happening. They, they want to this run, right? So that's what you want to do, start yelling and getting I'm gonna horses. Kick, I'm going to kick Galathon. I'm, but I wanna, I'm, okay. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to move over there to, by these two and, and demand that they wake the hell up. Galathon should be getting up. Well, I mean, the fireball is probably loud enough to wake me up, right? I don't know. No, it's not that loud. It's not a fireball. If it was a fireball, we'd be <laughs> No, it was some flammable material. It's a Molotov. It's a Molotov. So... Silent, flammable material. <laughs> I mean, it could be lamp oil lit up, or it could be something similar. <clears throat> so, who knows? You can definitely smell there's oil or something like that involved. So... <laughs> um, we lost, and so, he, so on my turn, I'm, I'm definitely going to kick him awake and try to try to get her a, a steer too. Okay, Haddock, what are you going to do? Well, how far away is that tree crops from the other side where I suspect the bolts are coming from? Well, it's right there on the map. <laughs> oh, I didn't know if it was abstract or not. No, it's not abstract. So I can make it across that within a easy in a turn underfoot uh no <laughs> your movement's like 12 squares unless you're uh, a little, little unless you're a little people then it's six yeah but 12 inches equates out to how many feet 120 12 squares well yeah if you double move if you run Uh, oh, by so you're gonna chart, you're running out at, out at them. Well, I mean, it depends. Yeah, that's what I was looking at. If I can make it there in a turn, uh, damn it, ah, you can't make it there in a turn, okay. How long did I think it would take me to get across that clearing? No. Uh, you can do it in two turns. At 95 foot away. Yeah, that's how it works. <laughs> it's a base of 12 feet around. And... You can, and that's 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 quadruple moving. Now we say just run twelve foot per round. Yep, I think it means twelve squares. It's my movement is twelve inches, and that equates to twelve feet. Oh, so the scale on the map is fucked up. Okay. Yeah, the scale on the map is oh. is five because they don't have a three. They, you can't set it for okay. three. 
Okay, that's what I was asking. Yeah. I, said, I didn't sure. know what the scale of the map was. And he said it was on the map. So. I'm pretty sure you can set it to whatever you want to. Yeah, you can set the scale. Uh, oh, I have never been able to get it to... I've put three in there before, and it just moves it back to five. Okay, so blast about five arrows came our way. Fire that. Pin down. We can't stay in the woods for very long because they're going to burn down on us. Uh, I will cast Sanctuary, and then I'll start heading that way. Oh, yeah, it goes back to five because you didn't click the save button. You have to click the save button when you change it. Okay. All right, anyway, do I get, my, do I get, get him woken up, and, and does she get another chance to wake up? Okay. There you go. Um, must be a new feature because it used to not be able to do that. I tried it before. I haven't tried it, I guess, in a while. I just gave up on it. Okay. So, yeah. Uh, she will definitely be awake. And if you're trying to wake the prisoner up, you can get him awake, I'm too. The, the Galadon will get wake up. I, he's the one I was kicking. Yeah. Oh, you're not waking her up? Okay. I'm trying to wake her up, too, but I'm, I'm kicking him. And I'm yelling at, at, at everybody that's, that's still asleep. Okay. You've got him awake. And uh, Galathon and uh, Willa, please give me D20 rolls. Hold on, GM. The, the first round I woke up uh, had I. This round we lost initiative and they hit the, they hit the flame. I, and I, I, my issue was to wake up a Galathon. Does he have to roll to wake up, or do I do I not wake him up? Well, sure. He he rolled. I mean, you. I asked you if you were waking up prisoner or her, and you said the prisoner. A Galathon. No. He said the. He said the whole time he was waking me up. I woke up hey, for his hey, action. This I morning. never heard Galathon. He just kept saying he he he, and he's standing beside the prisoner. No 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 no. So, Galathon. Yeah. And. Uh, we lost initiative this round, so this okay, round I'm waking, so you... up, I'm waking up Galathon, and I'm trying to yell at her to okay. wake up too. Okay, you need to move down there to wake him up. I got a twenty, so I'm awake. Yay! Yes, you're awake. Okay, so both of you are awake and can start getting your stuff together, and. uh I think I have magic chain mail, so it shouldn't take long. Okay. So. Oh no, um, it's plate mail. I got a magic let's get shield. The hell out That's of here. right. Yeah, I'm gonna grab my sword and shield and <clears throat> like just throw my armor <clears throat> in like a bag or something. Like my backpack, I don't know, and uh, throw it over my shoulder and hop on my horse. Okay, so you're getting stuff together. Horses are still tied up. We're gonna, you'll, we'll be talking about that next round. So okay. It is initiative. I don't have a horse on the map because you never gave me one. We, I'm, I just said, I'm not Putting all these horses, that brown line is where the horses are tied. Oh, the brown line. That's how we can do it the horses. So, okay. So, again, another five bolts hit the tree line here. Nobody gets hit. The um, fire. Spread. The horses are getting very antsy. And uh, 
Paddock, what are you going to do this turn? I'm now moving over to engage the archers. Okay. Bella, what are your plans? I'm going to go over and start untying the horses. Okay. Aaron, what are you doing? I'm getting to a horse and getting on, on and getting the hell out of here. Okay. Alphon, what are you doing? I'm <clears throat> throwing all my stuff in my bag and, uh, like, as quickly as possible getting over to the horses. Okay. All right, so, Haddock, everybody else is moving towards horses. Uh, Lars, what are you doing? Wait, I'm awake? Or... What's happening? Well, you guys, there's fire at the top of the tree. Something set the top of the trees. You were sleeping in on fire. There are bolts being fired at this side of you. And uh, everybody, the other three people have gathered their stuff. And three of them are, are heading for the horses. And it looks like Hedek may be heading out towards the trees across the way. I'll go towards the horses. Okay. So everybody that's moving towards the horses, go ahead and move. Ahead, you can make your move where you're going to go. How far can I make it this round? Right there. Fair enough. Okay. And so it is okay. initiative. Who's got the prisoner? Nobody got the prisoner. Oh, fuck that. Uh I'm gonna grab the prisoner. And I and I and if, if I can't get him and take him with me, I'm gonna slit his throat. I mean, you can get him up and, and I mean, he's not going to like totally fight with you, but yeah. I'm going to tell him if he fights at all, I'm going to, I'm going to put the, put my, my dagger to his throat and slit it. I'm not, I'm time for your shit today. Okay. That's fine. <laughs> he'll, he'll get over to the horse with you. Okay. Right. And um, okay, it's initiative. Ooh. Okay, what's the effect of sanctuary? Uh, they gotta make a saving throw if they wish to attack me. Okay. Save versus what? Spells, I guess. Spell? All right. So one of them, one of them does shoot at you. He misses. The other arrows or the other bolts are flying across at the uh, the trees across the way, and. So, Lar, uh, so Aaron, what are you doing? I'm gonna um, throw this asshole up on up on a, a horse and get up behind him. Okay. Okay, and uh, Sir Galphon? I'm going to mount. Okay. Hola? I'm going to get two horses, and I'm going to, or a horse and a mule, and I'm going to start leading them um, over towards 
the edge of the woods where our friend just went out into the middle of the clearing without a horse and so I'm bringing a horse to him and I'm leading a horse and a mule in that direction and all the rest of the okay. horses that nobody's on I'm just untying them and letting them go because they're afraid of the fire and they might cause enough of a distraction running loose okay and Lars, what are you going to do? Without the horse. Uh, so I'm gonna okay. Go over over here with two horses. Well, okay. So you guys mount up and uh, check. What are you doing? Still going to keep Vance until I can see him. Have a pretty good idea. I mean, you haven't really seen them, seen them, because they're they're in the back in the woods a bit. But And uh, you can go ahead now. Running at full speed, you will not be able to attack this round, although you can reach one of them. Oh, I wasn't really fully intended to attack quite yet, but I'm going to call back. I'll continue to run forward. But I'm going to also call back positions and numbers and what I see. Okay. Be it goblins, orcs, humans, gnolls, whatever. Goblins, five of them is what you see. And that's what I relay back there by five goblins or? Okay, are you going to close with them? Gonna go yeah, I'm going to continue to close with them. Keep my shield up high enough to try to ward off any errant arrows. Okay. That means I can make it to about here-ish? You can, you can make it all the way up to that one you're running right at. Oh, I'm going to stop a little short. Okay. I'll wait for reinforcements. Okay. <laughs> okay. And so it's initiative. Okay. So I think you want to see what they're doing, or do you just want to go ahead and do what you're going to do? I'll wait do for you. Want to see what the rest of the party's doing, or do you want to go? I'm going to wait for the rest of the party, but I, like I said, I'm going to be passing along the information. Three to the rise, one to the knoll over to the left, or whatever, two here. Okay. Okay, so, uh, Ben, what are you doing this turn? Um, all right, I think I'm going to take the horse and ride in this direction. Okay. Um, horses.
Okay. So you've got a move base of of six squares or eight squares. No, six. It's eighteen. So six squares, and you can do that up to four times. Okay, Galathon, what are you doing? Uh, let's see. Um, I'm going to... It, is this the fire? Yeah, it's above you. It's above us. And have any branches fallen yet? Oh, yeah. Okay, uh, so um, I am going to scoop one up as I ride out. Uh, okay. To use as a torch. No problem. And I'm going to ride in the opposite direction uh, that Aaron is uh, riding. So hopefully we can catch the enemy in a crossfire. <clears throat> and you said uh, 18 times 4? Yeah. For the horses? That would be your... Full out run, yeah. Okay, because I wanted to charge. In, in the woods, it would be half that. Just because you're you you, <laughs> uh, you'd, you'd wind up with no head if you you ran full ran a horse full speed in the woods. Okay, so um, is this the woods right here? No, oh, inside the green circle where you're at. Okay, so I'm exiting that area. Do I still have to? Right. Okay. So I grab a torch or burning stick and ride out. And see, 18 times 4, that's 40, 72 feet. So I go this way. And I'm, I'm charging. What I want to do is try to trample these uh, goblins if I can. Okay. And so like this, 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 and continue southward to about here and turn around and then uh, while ch like charging through, I want to drop my torch right here, so that I can see them. Oh, that makes that me able to see them too. Uh, so right here, like that, the center of that square. And, uh, you know, try to turn around for next round. I mean, you've got 24 squares. I think that's a little bit over that. 24 squares? Because you, uh, you said 18 yeah, that... feet times 4. But I, he was saying like 6 squares 4 times. That's why I only moved... Oh, 6 right. squares yeah. 4 times. Okay. Because... Uh, wow. Eighteen would be would be twelve. Eighteen feet would be twelve squares, right? Or is that? Uh... Oh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, you're right. Six. That's six. six. Okay. So twenty-four squares. So to there, there. Oh, I guess I don't need to go that far north. And I started over here, didn't I? Okay. Uh, wow. Okay. Um. I guess I'll end there. Yeah. 
and charge next round. Okay. I mean, that is... So pick up your torch. Yeah. <laughs> oh, okay. And then... Where are you I'm... going? I'm going to go up right up to the edge of the tree line with the horse and the mule and kind of get behind find a position behind a tree, but since they're firing at me and there's a torch there, can I fire at them? Well, the torch isn't there now because you didn't get No there. torch. Yeah, no oh. torch. But if they're firing at me, can I fire at them? I mean, I was listening to him giving out directions of where they were. When they, mean, you wouldn't they have to... You can't see them. You can fire in that general direction. Don't they have to light their torch, their uh, arrows on fire to to do this over here? Don't well, they, that's what, don't they have some sort the of? First round. They're, they're not still doing that. They did that to, to to light up light us up so they could see, and then they started just just firing bolts. So that was only the first round that they did, they did the trees, I believe. Well, I'm gonna try to fire my direction in the general direction and arrows in the general direction that our friend was saying they were because he was calling out where they were so I will fire two arrows have to find so if I click on the uh, arrows will I fire or do I have to roll something I mean if you have the materials, and you want to make fire arrows, you can do that. Uh, but I would, I would say that would probably be something that would take a round of prep. I don't know fire, fire arrows. Fire. She just wants to I'm, shoot. I'm just gonna just shoot. To shoot. If, just roll the d twenty. If you don't have it set up on your your sheet, I mean, you could have set it up on your sheet. How do I on, set it up on, on my weapons. sheet? That's what I was and asking. Set up on asking. your sheet. How did, so I can just pick roll and it will work. If you go to go down to up and and hit go to short bow and hit roll. And then it says to hit modifier. Just go through that. Don't put anything in there. All the modifiers are already in it. Okay, so just submit, submit. So see right there, you rolled, you rolled a nine plus your three bonus, a twelve. And so yeah, you don't hear anyone yelp or anything. And then I get another Arrow, one too, right? Because I get two five into bonus. the woods. Yep. Okay, so we will try that. Okay, and once again, it's it nothing. You don't think anybody got hit. Yeah. Okay. You probably need a twenty to shoot him blind like that. Probably, but hey, Lars, what are you doing? Do it. Um. Hello, Lars? Hi. Um, I don't know. Damn. Nothing. Nothing? <laughs> well, who's the one by the, who's the one left by the horses there? Me. Oh, you probably don't want to just stand there. You probably want to move. Yeah. Yeah, I'll move. Away. Oh, How many blocks can I move? You can move up to three if you're just walking. Or you can move, if you're going to take off and run, you can move up to 12. If you're on, if you're on horseback, your movement would be 6, 24. 
squares. Okay. I'm just hiding behind a tree. I'll go right here. Okay. Wee. <laughs> okay, and, and Galvan, I will definitely call your attention to when you get out to here, you can see all this activity back here behind the trees. They have a uh, catapult. Roughly made, but it looks like it's working and they're about to get it ready to fire a second shot. Oh, shit. Uh, I'm just going to shout out Catapult to the east. Do they have, like, firelight or something illuminating the work? The what? Do they have firelight illuminating their work or something? They do have some. Plus, you're you're in where you can, you know. Yeah, because they're getting ready to light something on fire and shoot it. So yeah, okay. they have they have some fire over here, some torches. How far do you move when you charge? Or is that not a thing? Oh, to to be a charge you would you could charge up to twelve squares. Twenty four is full out run. Ah, uh, okay. Twelve is twelve is a double move for a charge. Okay. And um, so, okay, and the fire's growing, they're getting ready to fire again. You get hit with a bolt, three points of damage. Two more arrows fly over, or two more bolts fly over into the f front edge of the these trees. Oh, yeah. Who took three points? Haddock. Gather those up if they come near me. And your prisoner took a bolt as well. And one where'd it, co where'd it come from? Burns head. It came from here? Yeah. And uh, it is a thing, so it's initiative. Okay, so you guys got initiative. Uh, right. Anyone spell casting this turn? Can I, I want to know if I can from the horseback. I don't know if I can from horseback yet. I don't know. Um, you know what? Not moving. Yeah. I don't think I have any spells. It's a spell you've known and used a lot, so I'm going to let you. If it was like you trying to read a scroll in the dark on the back of a uh -huh. horse or cast a spell for the first time, 
<laughs> probably not. But, but I think you've cast spell sleep enough. You could probably do it in your sleep. So it's all I got. Me right, right. Right. <laughs> <laughs> so it's my it's my one trick. So yeah, I'm gonna cast sleep. Um, okay. Um, all right. So sleep goes off, and. Uh, Okay. And and anybody going to attack this round? Um, missile weapons. Oh, missile weapons. Not oh, I'm going to go ahead and charge the last little bit and nail the one in front of me. Okay. Yeah. We'll, we'll take that in just a moment. I'll so, try. Okay. I'll try again. No, just... I mean, who knows? I might get something right. Okay, so your arrows go flying into the the woods over here, and hear any any reaction to it. Um. Oh, I had a seventeen. Uh, but I have to get a twenty, huh? I yeah. Oh well. So, it was close. Lars, are you moving? Yeah. Go ahead and move. Then Gallathon, are you moving or are you attacking? Um. Well, I wanted to try to um uh trample these guys with a double move, if I could. Um. Okay. So with 24 squares um let's see. I'll go to oh, this I'm one gonna first. Have to get closer. This one, this one, this one, this one, this one and then and you said 24 squares, so um, I'll end right here. That should show my path. Okay. So I got most of them. Oh. And then, um, during that move, could I, like, drop my torch somewhere? Oh, that would sure. Because be when I passed through this square, I wanted to drop my torch not close enough to the catapult to damage it, because I think... I want to try to use this catapult against the dragon if it's if we if we can if the uh, catapult can survive. So I want to throw the torch maybe like right here. Whoops. Um draw circle. Okay, right here to illuminate uh this uh this goblin so that someone might be able to shoot him or get him with a spell next round. Because hopefully okay. my charge will kill... I mean, my tramples will kill these guys on the way through. Well, we shall hopefully. see. Yeah. Give me... Uh, what is that? One, two, three, four, five, six... Give me six D20s. Six D20s. And let me... And, and or just basic melee attacks from you. Okay. Six D twenty. It'll be in sequential order. Yeah. So Okay. Nice. And you got eighteen tackle, don't you? That eleven might hit. Uh whatever the level Two Thacko is for a fight. Oh no, it's still twenty. Okay. No, it's still twenty first. So let's see here. I'm pretty sure I'm still level two.
Okay. Yeah. So still level two. You definitely got. Two of them. Um, the first and the fourth. Yeah. So give me. Roll, roll a d12 and a d6. Okay. So. This guy's done. This guy, you clipped him. So he's damaged, but he's still in action. And then this guy. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I crit you know, him. He, he, <laughs> yeah, he's dead. But the other ones were able to kind of jump back out of the way and avoid getting getting trampled on. Um, and so, Haddock, you may now move up and, and take your attack. Do they still have enough goblins to operate the tr uh, trebuchet? I mean, uh, catapult? Um, well, it would probably make it harder. Like, they have enough to launch it. I don't uh -huh. know. I mean, it'll take them more time. And with you being back there, they probably are not going to be putting effort into reloading. reloading. Uh -huh. So, so drawing weapons and coming off to me. Yeah, I mean they're gonna they're gonna be obsessed with you. They they probably I'm gonna we'll see what happens. Yeah. So thirteen. Um, yeah, that's a miss. Oh, wait a second. Just check. Make sure. Okay, that does hit. And so, this guy's evening is over. Well, now it is uh, their turn. Um. Oh. One of them. What? Remember, you fired your two arrows. Okay. Yeah, we're still. It's just this is still the same half. Just okay. that you got a half ant round just ended. So. Uh, okay. One of these guys is gonna light. And this guy's going to fire. And you guys again, oh. Aaron, you suddenly again hear that squeaking, but it's closer. And the thud is closer. And then you all that are out in the open and you uh, and over there watching to witness this wad of flame come flying over does it operate like a trebuchet or just a standard um cup arm uh catapult 
Um, it's it's a, it's a stand. I mean, yeah, it's it's just torsion. There's no there's no counterweight. Okay. Is it spring loaded with a crank to compress the spring, or rope? Rope. Okay. Yeah. Oh, okay. So it's got an but upward like frame. The frame. They were like pulling it back down at the back end. I mean, they were had a had a had a restrictor that wouldn't let it go forward. But they were actually had hooks on the on the firing end pulling it down mm -hmm. as well as trying to crank it. It was, it was a, it was a group effort. Okay. Um, and Oh shoot. There's fire next to me. And, um, okay, so that one guy kind of runs over there towards you and then doesn't actually take an attack. Um, and it's initiative. And between what everybody will see, what you can basically see is they were basically like it was like a a net that they were so they had soaked in oil and were it was tied up into a ball and then the the stuff would burn up it kind of spreads out and falls down on top of the trees as it gets to the other side tie okay a simultaneous. Anybody casting spells? I know. I'm moving this round. Okay. Uh, anybody firing missiles? Yeah, but I want to move closer before I do. Can I, like, okay. mount, on, mount my mule and lead the other horse and come out? Yeah. I don't know how much can I go on the mule? Well, I mean, you won't be able to fire this round. Oh. And then movement-wise, um, yeah, you you could move up to at a full run twenty squares. I don't want to full the, run the on. standard move base is five squares for them. Right. Mars and Aaron, are you continuing to move? I just moved right there. And I'm leading the horse and I'm riding on the mule. Okay. Lars and Aaron, are you guys going to be moving? I would like to delay my movement to see what they do first. Okay. But I do want to move at, uh, at the end of the round. Okay. Uh, Galathon, what are you doing? Uh, <clears throat> I am going to... Uh, uh, What's the light radius on that torch? Like, how how far out can I see? Uh, with the torch it, that I dropped. Be what, Twenty feet. Say again. I mean, it's like bright, fairly bright out to here, and then somewhat lit out to about there. 
Uh, I'm so alone. Like this? Uh, so what I want to do is, um, I want to charge and, um, during the charge, I want to trample this guy. Whoops, sorry. I'm using the wrong tool. So you can't see what I'm saying. So I want to try to trample this guy and then uh, end up slicing this guy with my sword and uh, trample if he survives the sword strike. Okay. So, give me 2d20s for the trample rolls and make your sword attack. 2d20s and sword attack. Oh, hit modifier. So this is the magic long sword, and I don't know how magical it is. So you'd have okay. to you'd have to do the math for me, because I don't know. Oh, okay. it uh -oh. misses. Yeah, I only rolled a nine. Damn, that's AC ten. <laughs> okay, but you trampled that guy. So give me a D twelve roll. Okay, you got him, but he is still scrambling around. He's gotten back onto his feet. And he he attacked as you okay. came, as you attacked him, he was attacking you. He missed also. And then you were unable to trample the other guy. Yeah. He was able to evade the horse. And I missed him uh, with my sword. And Haddock, go ahead and stack in the one next to me. Okay. him down the one moves over and attacks Galapon and what's your AC um I've got that medium shield plus one and then whatever I was sleeping in is that's it because I've got my plate okay. mail in my bag I didn't put my play. Okay. Oh, so, does get you three points of damage? Ah. Uh. Okay, and and what do you want to do? I'm gonna to move to there, and I want to dismount and take this uh, jerk with me. And, uh, okay. I don't know if I can do all that in one roundup. But I, this is where I move to. Get up there move. and dismount. Yeah. Get ready to do what you're going to do. I'm just going to be AFK for a second. got to use the bathroom. Be right back. Okay. Lars, what is your move?
You can change, uh, Scott, you can change your character's name. Just change it on the sheet and it'll change. It's just a, a randomly generated name the system does when you create the sheet. Yeah, it automatically says whatever automatically... you type in. Are we waiting on Galathon? Uh, giving him a couple minutes, but I was doing something real quick for a new guy. He's almost ready. I was just looking at this. And, uh, oh, okay. His... Yeah, I, was, I was curious. I was like, oh. oh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah.
Okay, so let's see, they've all done their thing. You guys have all done your thing. We're ready for the next round. I'll phone you back. Go ahead and get started. I want to roll initiative for you guys. Well, I actually want initiative. Raladon takes one more hit. Rather. points and Okay, so their turn has, they've, they've completed their turn. Um, Aaron, go ahead and do what you're going to do. I'm going to dismount and pull the prisoner off the, off the horse as well. Uh, you did that last time. Oh, okay. Then I'm going to split this guy's, forward. then I'm going to split this guy's. Okay, forward. I'm back. Oh, is he struggling? Oh. Uh, Galon, you guys lost initiative and you got hit by one of them for two points of damage. Two points, okay. And then is the prisoner struggling? No, I'm, I'm, no. I'm killing a, a sleeping goblin. Oh, sweet. God, okay. I thought it was the prisoner. Whew. Hey, Dak, what are you going to do? Uh, me? Nice. Said Haddock, right? Oh. Uh, do I see any in the near vicinity of me? Uh, uh, yeah. yeah. You see these couple slumped on the ground. Aaron's leaning over the one furthest away from you, doing, doing the coup de gras. More like this direction or anything? Pick anything up my infravision? No. I will start moving this way. Okay. And then do I do I get to go? Go ahead and start moving. Yeah. Uh Elfon, you may take your your turn. Okay. What happened to the goblin that was here? The one the one that I injured uh from the he... trample. He came, he came and he's the one beside you attacking. This one, oh, yeah. that one? Yeah. Oh, no, he, you don't know he, he moved out. Oh, You're he in moved. In the midst of okay. combat. He's no longer. In the light. <laughs> Not in the light anymore. Okay. Right. Uh, I want to strike this one. Uh, wait, are any of the, either of these uh, injured? Either uh, of these two? Oh. You, not that you know of or can tell. Okay. Um, so I guess I'll attack the one that's like right on top of me uh, with my sword and shield, if I may. Uh, okay. So here's my sword attack. And this is the, again, long sword. I'm not sure how strong it is. Yeah. Uh, shit. Okay, and then and you're still not. <laughs> um, I'm pretty sure you said this medium. This medium shield was plus one. Well, somebody did. That's pretty good. Yeah. Okay. So, and then 
Oh, oh, no. Magic bonus. Is that damage or... Damage bonus. Oh, well, I just put it in hit. I don't understand what that magic bonus is supposed to mean. Fuck, I keep rolling sixes. Shit. Okay. The headak, you can definitely see Galathon fighting those two. I mean, you can't see it like, you know, you, you, if you've been in the woods and you're looking 30 feet through the woods at something, it's like, but you see him, there's a light behind him, and you can tell he's he's embroiled in combat with two goblins. And uh, I'm taking hits. I'm like, yeah, clang, clang, bang. Not quite making purchase. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, this guy down. Anyways. Do I see any anybody? No, there is no movement on your side. I'm gonna come closer then on the leading the horse. Okay. Up to here. To actually into the I mean Aaron's hopped off and has moved into the woods. Lars, what are you doing? I can get to right there. Okay. What's this purple thing? What? Well, there is a goblin laying on the ground, snoring away. Oh. Okay. Can I um, get down from my horse and tie him up? Uh, you can get down from your horse and be ready to do that next round. Okay. Lars? I do anything? Yeah. I'll move. And uh, it is initiative. We yes, we beat them. Oh, yes, we beat them. <laughs> Actually, I think they're first with a four, four, three. Oh, Rich. So they each one of them got you for a total of seven points, Galathon. Seven, okay. Minus seven, and uh. Ah! Oh, ah! <laughs> and. Your turn. So, Galathon, what are you doing? Uh, I'm attacking with my. Oh, um, does being mounted give you a bonus to hit? Uh, someone who's not mounted. No. Okay. Uh, no, it doesn't. Okay. What uh, it does is, if you're charging with with something, it gives you bonus damage. Oh. Uh. Okay. So, uh, long sword again, and well, long sword question mark and medium shield plus one against uh, okay. uh, the one that I'm on top of. So here we go. Okay. Is the long sword? Fuck. Yes. That's AC eleven, and then uh, medium shield plus one, 
Come on, 50. Yes, 19. Hey, that one. 19. Okay. AC is zero. Okay. And then uh, damage is... um. Uh, fuck, how do you roll damage again? It's already your macro. Yeah, it's zero. Oh, it already rolled damage. Okay. Three damage. And, uh... Okay, so you got him, you whacked him good, and, um... I'm okay. gonna tie up this goblin here, Okay. well, I'm gonna knock him over the head with my short sword to make sure he doesn't wake up and start struggling. I'm dying! I'm, I'm dying over here! I'm gonna slit this, this one's throat. No, I'm 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 fucking dying. Up. I'm dying over here. I'm gonna fucking so, die. You probably wanna tie him up before you knock him out because <laughs> if you fail if you if you mess up your knockout roll, all you'll do is wake him up. Well, which one is she which one's she trying to tie up? I'm gonna I'm gonna kill the other one. So the you, one okay. next to me. Well I'm I, you're right, you're I'm, way back here. Just I'm me. dying over here. <laughs> This one. She's right there beside him. Okay. Yeah, anyway, this other guy, I'm sitting, I'm sitting in the stroke. Okay, I'm tying him up okay. and then I'm going to knock him out. But I'll, if he wakes up, I'll say, they're going to kill you if you make a move. And I'll say that in Goblin. Okay. Okay, have it. Why would you fucking hat. die? I can't. I'm not a cleric. I'm Sorry. dying. <laughs> I I'm am going to die. <laughs> I don't have, I am not a cleric. <laughs> Help me kill them. Help me kill them. For God's sake. Hey, <laughs> that's, so that's a hit. That's a hit. <laughs> that one's gone. And, uh... Sweet. Thanks, Rich. Uh -huh. Lars, what do you wish to do? Move again. Because, uh, yeah. Okay. So, okay, and it is now initiative. You guys, unless you blow it, we'll win. You guys have initiative. Oh. Health on? Um, yeah, I'm going to attack the last remaining goblin over here with my longsword question mark. Okay. And shield. Fucking hell. Oh my god. Okay. Do I break my magic longsword? <laughs> uh, maybe non magical, but the way that's working. Cursed. It's cursed. That's yeah, what the really. magic is. Yeah. That's what the magic is. It's cursed. <laughs> Get your shield attack in. Oh, uh, okay. You're gonna do it. Yeah. Fucking shit. Five rolls and not a one over ten. Knights is like that, particularly on this dice roller. Haddock? Oh wait, no, I did I did roll like a nineteen. I forgot. I'm sorry. Yeah, you did. I did. I just wasn't gonna say anything. Yeah. Okay. Well that one goes down. So you guys are out of 
initiative. Um, You've saved my ham again, uh, Rich. I I owe you a drink, good buddy, and I I high five him. I will receive that crisp high five. <laughs> Um, oh, don't mind the blood. Uh, I, I took a couple daggers to the gut. How bad, does a, he look? How bad does he look? Is there a cleric in this party? Oh, I didn't he know looks like he, he could use some healing. I mean, he's... Yeah. he's I will got a little light on him, then. There's like... Cuts. I mean, he's like ma no massive wound, but lots of little cuts. <laughs> Maybe... Maybe maybe a, a a piece of sausage hanging out of my belly button as well. I feel like wounds as I push the sausage back in. Yeah. <laughs> okay. I'll get you eight, eight hit points back. <laughs> While you're doing this, you hear somebody going, mm, 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 mm. Mm. and as you look I, around, you realize that there is a person tied up laying up here kind of half under this catapult. What? Look, there's a person there in the dark. Halfway underneath the catapult. <laughs> Have time to eat. Uh, can I uh, okay. sort of ride over and use my long sword to push the the torch closer to illuminate them and see who they are? Okay, I mean they're orcs. You're the, you're goblins. They're the red caps. Oh, it's an orc tied up? No, no, oh. Person. Oh, that's to the front, but okay. Yeah. Uh, Scott, you want to describe yourself? Tell you he's in robes, a human in robes, and he's bound. Uh, just a human, black hair. Average height, average build. Mm. I'm going to uh, like uh, reach down the tip of my sword um, so that he can, uh, you know, slice his bonds upon them, upon it. Uh, and I'm going to to say to him, uh, 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 "Hello, friend. Uh, how did you get in this predicament?" Okay, I'll help you out here. Um, the, this area, um, first, just a brief word about the world. This world has been, had been under the rule of an evil god, uh, called the Horned God for about a millennium. We're about a hundred years away from the end of that time period, uh, people of air rose up and were doing almost enough to get rid of him and the gods intervened on their behalf finally and ended it all and took him back out of the world into the world of the gods and uh, the world is, is a mess sort of because of that you know you came out of this whole thousand years of, of a totalitarian state and now Everybody is kind of doing their own thing. And the area we're in is on the edge of a country called New Enoch. And it's New actually Enoch fairly Enoch. close to where the headquarters of this old evil empire was. So there are still a lot of pockets of his troops around, goblins, orcs, Un uh, Ungren, and, and some other things. And uh, he is, uh, and so people, it's kind of a wild open frontier area. 
or asking people to come up here and if you can seize enough land and and maintain order make a good case for it they'll give you a title in the land a lot of people come up here looking to get land and money and titles you come to this area in search of adventure money magic whatever and you heard that there were was treasure to be had out here in the area of a town called Dredston. And you're fo- you were following the map and coming down south here to this Dredston place. And at midday when you stopped to take lunch, you, you, you must have dozed off for a few minutes. And the next thing you knew, you were being woken up by orcs tie or by goblins tying you up. And uh they've been discussing whether they wanted to, to to try to ransom you, to try and abuse you, or maybe just eat you for dinner. And when they set up for this kind of ambush on these people, and you've witnessed this fight go down and and you're now free. So that's how you got here. <laughs> and you can okay. you can play with it any way you want, but that's... So I, I look around and see who's all with the party. At this point, you see two people. Galphon, you can go ahead and describe yourself. Sorry, I was away for a second. What did you say? Go ahead and describe yourself. Oh, okay. Um, uh, so, is it a heavy wool horse I'm on? What kind of? What kind nah, of? Nah, it's just sort of a medium riding horse. Okay, so um, on so some sort of uh medium riding horse uh, is a uh, very young. Young man, uh, approximately 17 years old, barely bearded. Um, but he uh, has a sort of like elegant air about him uh, somehow. Uh, he's holding a really shiny, nice shield and sword um, that he's. Uh, uh, it's The sword is uh, not. Oh, what was it? Bloody. Yeah, I guess it was because I struck someone with it. Nope, or that was a shield. That was a shield. Blood fell on it. So no, no blood on the shield, but uh, or sorry, no blood on the sword. But there's like a big old smear of blood on the shield, maybe like a, a tooth stuck on it. Um, <clears throat> and uh, he's he's offering the end of his sword uh, to your to your bonds, so you can cut them if it's rope, hopefully. Um, and uh, he's not wearing armor, but his he's got a backpack with like. It looks like plate mail sticking out of it, like the bottom of of a cuirass sticking out of the top of it, maybe, and like some sabatons poking out the top, and uh, like a, a a tent stuffed inside the the uh, cuirass, um, with like the tent stakes sort of dangling out of the bag, and uh, on his on his back. And, uh, uh, his, his, uh, 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 saddle is, like, hastily put on. Like, it's, it's barely strapped down around the belly. And, like, the strap's hanging down. So it's just, um, attached by the one, uh, buckle. <laughs> and, um, he's covered in, uh, a bit of blood, but some of his wounds... Are magically healed so there's like smears of blood but no wounds on part of it and then uh, a few wounds left like that haven't been healed yet and um, just before uh, you really notice the details of him uh, you watched uh, uh, as um, a man like laid hands on him or, or, or cast a spell on him and touched him and like a bit of his 
intestines that was like sticking out of his belly button, like pushed back inside of his guts, and the wound closed. <laughs> Because he took quite a bit of damage, um, I think, uh, yeah. like 12, 12 damage in one round, or oh, two rounds, two rounds, from like yeah. multiple different sources. So he got stabbed like three or four times. And um, yeah, he's got uh, like blonde hair and he's just wearing like night clothes or something like Maybe his undergarments and uh, like almost like a t-shirt or something that he that he sleeps in, and he's got his bare foot, bare feet in the uh, the stirrups, with like blood running down one leg, I guess. Sounds good. Back. Well, standing in contrast to him, uh, probably about the same height, almost same build, rather than large. Uh, Got black hair, darker skin than him. Uh, you do notice uh, a little bit of possible a tusk or something kind of protruding from the mouth. Uh, you'd guess he's probably a, a half orc or so, not quite full human. Uh, his shield is emblazoned with a boar upon it. He's not bleeding like uh, his counterpart on the horse. But he does have a small bolt sticking out of the part of his shoulder, which he just pushes on through to take it on out. All you see is him. He does look down at you and look at the guy on the horse says, uh, you can push his sausage in. I'm going to come over with the horse that I brought for somebody that went off without a horse. I don't remember who it was. Okay. Got your horse. Who I don't remember who it was. Somebody. Oh, thank you. Thank you for uh, saving a uh, thunderfoots. Do I uh, know where they? And go ahead and describe yourself. To okay, the today. Today you can call me Willa. I don't know about tomorrow, but today my name's Willa. And you see a very short little person who doesn't look like a kid, but they're very short. It's a gnome. And she's really scruffy. She, her, she does, has combed her hair, and her clothes are kind of tattered and muddy. And uh, she kind of doesn't smell so good. She hasn't had a bath in a while. <laughs> But yeah, um, dark hair, not really black, but dark brownish. And, uh, and uh, you see a couple of daggers sticking out of the sides of her outfit. And she has a short bow yeah. and a short sword on strapped on her back. Okay. Uh, thank Lars, you everybody for yeah. rescuing me. I, I greatly appreciate it. I've been tied up here for a week now. A week? Wow. And your name is? Vladrick. Vladrick? know where they stashed all my gear. At least you have gear. I need to get some better armor and stuff. I need to get a bath. Okay. Lars, are you going to 
introduce yourself. Yeah. Here. I am not. I have other things to do. Are you like? Yes. Go ahead. Okay. Oh, are you guys gonna do at this point? We got a goblin back there to that we can question. Want to know more about their plans? Okay. You guys want to question the goblin? I think we ought to question him and then let him go and t taking back a message to his fellows about don't mess with us and have him tell how all his buddies are all dead. Looking at the clock and everything. Um, why don't we start next session there? Do I get the horses yeah. gathered up this session, or is that going to sleep? Yeah, you get the horses gathered up. Okay, great. And uh, am I able to recover my equipment? Or what? My my gear and stuff. Yeah, yeah, it's there near you. So everybody, 400 experience points. I think that's maybe enough to make me level up. I don't know. If it's really close, let me know. You need 1501. I was only five away. I might, it might not be enough then. Okay, uh, Gal thumbs back, sorry. Yeah, 1501 for second level. And, uh, okay, well, and how much did I get, 400? 400. So I have 1,400. Oh, we so got, I'm one, we 101 got, points short. We got 400 tonight? Yes. Okay. I'm 100 points short of being second level. Okay. I just made it, so... D10s for fighters? Yes. You said roll three of them. So five is average anyways. Uh, you get six. Look at six. So many common bonus you have. You got all you remember that. Uh, if anybody, yeah, the the link I gave you, I put in in Discord, uh, or no, it's in it's actually in the forum. Uh, you know, that'll give you some info on this world, and also on the gods in particular, and a little bit on the races, uh, particular different specific races. Not much on humans in there, but there's quite a bit on. 
on uh, elves. I've got goblins. Oh, are, you, are you an elf? I've got quite a while oh. before I'm level three. Yeah, I don't think we have any elves, but still, it's some interesting stuff. Elves are a little bit different in this world. Really? How are they different? Um, they come from another plane, and elves are not well thought of at this point in hint time because when the evil god took over, they all went and hit out. Oh. Uh. It didn't didn't help try and stop him, and pretty much stayed out of it until the end. Hmm. Well, that's what the elves did in um in the realms in Toriel. They fled every minute. Hmm. There's one group of elves that didn't that was engaged throughout, and they live on the other side of this world. They're called the 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 the. Uh, Twilights, not the Twilights, but there is that that are really, uh, they're blue skin, got orange hair, and uh, oh. they're, they're not happy with anyone. So. But, uh, oh, please feel free to download that and use it as you wish all right great thanks for the game today yeah, yeah. So thank you guys and uh we will uh good job I didn't see you, you all there. next friday yes. rush those guys i was planning on getting the hell out of there <laughs> right i was planning to pull up for escape or something or at least draw the yeah, fire while everybody else got ready Thanks for joining me. And Scott, you get that experience too. I mean, you slept through this whole session and uh, keep you a little bit closer to everybody. Okay. Everybody else is either just, I think everybody is either still just in the second or high in first. So you're not going to be like tons behind. Yeah. All right, thanks for DMing, and see you guys uh, next week. Yeah, absolutely. Thank yeah, you. let me know if you got any questions, and right, uh, we will talk to you next And for our viewers, thank you very much for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe. Um, if you like who we are and like what we do, um, I strongly urge you to explore our links. Uh, if you're watching live on Twitch, they are down below. And uh, if you're watching us on YouTube, the links are on the campaign, or the, uh, sorry, the homepage for the YouTube channel. Uh, and the links are uh, things like for our Discord. Um, you can follow me on Twitter there. There's a link to um, apply for my homebrew campaign. And then there's support stuff. Um, if you want to help support us, there's links to our Patreon and PayPal and uh, things of that nature. Uh, so that is pretty much it. Um, I will be DMing on Sunday, uh, February the 20th, uh, from 10 a.m. Pacific, 1 p.m. Eastern, uh, for about five hours. And I'm going to introduce the uh, next story arc of my homebrew campaign which will take place in the continent of Adria, uh, which is my East Asian uh, continent. Um, but it's going to start in one of the Grey Elf cities. Uh, so there will be adventure hooks leading the characters there. And we'll see how it goes from there. Uh, thanks again for watching, and I'll see you next time. Um, I do want to try to raid somebody. I'm sure at least one of my friends is streaming right now. Um, I will check real quick. Let's go back to Twitch.
you know what? None of my friends are actually streaming. They're uh, some of them are online, but they're either away or watching someone else play something. So, um, we are going to raid uh, channels that I follow. If someone once told me that the uh, Castle Entertainment. And they're playing Dungeons and Dragons. Uh, Dungeons and Dragons. On a nice little old school map. Here we go. Not sure which edition they're playing. But it does look like they're playing in an app. Alright, here we go. Get ready. Go, go, go.